I do feel we've gone a bit full circle in that we we got rid of Mickey because no, we're, we're not playing good football. We're not bringing through young players, which is big for the future of the club and all of that were the, the reasons behind it. And then obviously we'd had a poor season. But again, you look at that squad and he had like what he was finishing with. You, and I, again, I don't like a slagging player, but like Matt Hewell's in goal versus Luke McGee is a pretty big, big difference. Dennis Norris and Rob Apter, like Rob Apter instead of Logan Chalmers. I mean, I think one's gone into battle with a water pistol. The other one's got, I think, a big nuclear bomb, haven't they? Um, certainly if you've got Rob Apter in your side. So I think there's bits that are better. I think in in recent time, I think we're showing a bit more of a, a structure to to what we're trying to do as a football club. I do think the the squad is better. I think we've, uh, again, we talk a lot of recruitment, but we recruited Rob Apter. We found him. We recruited Luke McGee and, and people. Um, I just feel we've gone a bit full. Certain Mickey was a very organised 4-4-2, get it front to back, build off second balls. Um, he didn't have the counter-attacking capability we maybe had with, with Apter. Well, he certainly didn't have the counter-attacking and you're thinking, are we massively different to that now? We're playing for the main a four four two. Yes, we're scoring more goals, which I, I will accept. But again, if you have at uh, Connor Jennings, Norris, Dennett, like that, they're players who are much better goal scorers than Chalmers, Jay Turner, Cook, Mumbongo, Jake Burton, which we were seeing in in a lot of Mickey's final games. So. Um, I think the biggest difference is the spirit at the club. Like if you took that day um, when Mickey went, it was like soul destroying for I think everyone involved because of his history at the club and and whatnot. I think now, and again, don't be wrong, beating Mansfield and then Wrexham in short space of time helps that. But I think the spirit of the club is coming back together. Um, both on and off the pitch. I mean, it was interesting that a little note to this last night i went to Vauxhall to watch us in that cup competition whatever it was and it was interesting to see there was about four or five of the first team boys had come along to watch and and support which for a tuesday night i, I thought they'd have maybe had things they'd rather enjoy a bit more than watch us v city of liverpool at Vauxhalls. but the fact that they were there i think shows some of this togetherness at the, at the club Maybe that wasn't there last season. I think that's what Nige is is very good at, is building the culture. Um, so I think we're better off in terms of that. Um, I think we've, we've got a bit more of a clear identity about ourselves. I still hope that evolves. And I think it has in, in recent weeks. I think we are trying to get the ball down and play a lot more. Second half at Wrexham. I think Nigel made a really good tactical switch on Saturday to try and get a bit more control of the ball. And it wasn't players panicking and booting it anywhere. We had little spells of passing, which I think we need to work towards, particularly in the, the post Rob Apter era. Um, but I think that one player is, is the big key here. If we take Rob Apter out of this side, are we much better off? Um, I think we're pretty similar. I just think the the expectations on Mickey were we should be being promoted. The expectations on Atkins were can we get out of the bottom two, which I will argue to the final day, we with the squad that we've got, that was never a bottom two squad. McGee, Turnbull, Davis, Henry Walker, Jennings, Morris, that, like that's it, that should never be anywhere near the bottom two. Um so I would say we're, I would say we're pretty similar. But the trajectory that we're on, I think under Mickey we were trending that way. I think under Atkins we're now trending back the right way. That would be how I would probably sum it up. Yeah, I think I think that's the case. It, it just felt like Mickey was fighting an uphill battle and was losing it and was just it was slipping and slipping. Not necessarily all down to him. Just all sorts of factors. Uh, but it did feel like things were slipping for him. Uh, whereas Nige, uh, you know, he, he, things are on an upper trajectory. We've looked at the 
uh, his his points per game and where we would have been had he been the manager throughout the entire season. I think someone's shown a projection of that and would have had us in the top seven comfortably. So that sort of says a lot. It don't you know? Obviously, football doesn't necessarily work like that. Just if he had got the job full time, we don't know that that's where it'd have been. But you know, it shows that we, at least since Nigel's had a job permanently, we've been in a better place. Um, whatever our points per game was last season versus this season, that's fair enough. But it's all relative, and I've I've just had a little look at the league last year. You know, after forty six games, and we were I think it was seventeen points off the playoffs uh, this season. Uh, we're currently seven points off the playoffs. I don't think we're going to get to the playoffs, but you know relative to, to the rest of the division, we're kind of probably better off. Even if we're lower down in the league, I think we're closer to the playoffs than what we were last season. Um, but yeah, I think the trajectory is the key. You know, the, the, your attitude is based on how you think, think things are going, not where, not what things are currently. You think where the thing's going and it does feel like we're on the way up with, with Nige. So I think there's positivity in that respect. But I don't like, I outright don't like the fact that we've just had to have a, a full year of lowering our expectations and accepting that just surviving in this division was good enough. I don't think that's good enough. And, and I think given Dawes the job, you know, this time last year, that's what really sort of set those expectations of, right, well, we just need to survive. I don't like that we've had a year of, of that. But yeah, we, we've got, you know, in terms of the players, we lost a couple of our best players in, at, at fullback. We've replaced them with average fullbacks. I think everyone knows I like Leo O'Connor, but I know he's limited versus Cogley. Um, we don't necessarily have many standout players apart from after, but um, where are we? Similar place, but with the upper trajectory, like Boise says, you know, that, that's, that's the key. And season ticket sales will be based on what that trajectory feels like. So if we can have a stronger finish to the season, because last season it was, we we wilted with a whimper. It was, you know, we, we just did nothing. We just limped to the finish line. If we can get another, we've already had a couple of really good, impressive wins now against top of the league. Um, if we can finish the last few games with a, new, a few decent results, let's say we finish four points off playoffs, five points off the playoffs. It's not, it would, I wouldn't have deemed it good enough at the start of the season, but all things considered, that would be a positive end into the season. And, and then you could say, yes, we're in a better place than what we were this time last year.